at what stage in your building process should you go in for your biodigester construction this video is coming from the background of a video that i'm working on which is the biodigesters that the largest straw biodigesters that are constructed for this huge facility in spinters here in accra basically these are two bedrooms four apartments and three bedrooms four apartments with one bedroom three apartments all together on this particular compound when we came to this particular facility plastering wasn't done we asked the property owners to give us a plan of the building so that we can know exactly where the pipes are coming from both from the top and where they are dropping as well we also realized that there are a lot of debris here that this is the time that the one will have the digesters done because then from there they'll do the plastering and do other things and we have to tell them that no for us to consider a biodigester for you we prefer that the activities that are going to be in the area is lessened so we want you to go ahead and do the plastering even if it's not budgeted for you do it right now and then when you are ready we will come in and they were surprised thinking that ah why will you come and see such a project and then you will not take the job and do it and go your way and i told them no we are only looking for the best for you and the best for our interests as well when it comes to such projects because you really want to make everything work well and that's because most of the time when you are approached by somebody to do a buy digest one of the key questions we do ask is to find out whether the house has been plastered and then some people ask why well, is it necessary is it something that should be of concern to you yes and no yes because if it's not a house that you are moving it immediately then it's best you you finish most of the activities around the house like plastering like doing the groundwork filling and all those stuff so that we know that when we are coming there there's less activities on the compound before the biodigester is constructed because from experience let's say it's not a house that you're moving anytime soon but you think that it's time for you to have the biodigester constructed and you do the biodigester before the plastering is done the masons and stuff usually will put a lot of stuff on the on the ground that's something that affects either the biodigester top slab and weaken it or actually affect or lead to the biodigester the top slab spoiling and you have to have it break down again and in this particular case that that's prompting me to do this video even after agreeing to the to the plastering being done and everything and then we did the biodigester we still went back there and realized that the scaffolding has been put back on the biodigester for other works at the back end of the house of course there are certain instances where biodigesters or a construction of biodigester must happen because the homeowner is moving into the place and then they need their biodigester done despite all the problems and the situations that are on the ground when you showed up there like plastering not being done or like the filling not being done and other stuff so in the final analysis you as a constructor must take into account how the final house outlook is going to be like how the filling is going to be done so that your biodigester does not disappear completely when the filling and everything is done and then you must also try and get a location whereby if later activities happen and then there are construction activities that happen on site it's not going to affect your work in the final analysis i do know from experience because there are times that i've done bio digester construction i've put in my best work i've done a complete job and then when the family was ready to move into the facility i was called to come back and redo the top slab again or reconstruct the biodigester completely because it has been broken down by an activity that wasn't part or that was no fault of mine it was either the fault of those who are also coming to work at the facility or simply because somebody was doing plastering and then they did not take care of what was there and then they put slabs on it they put other stuff they put even metals and heavy materials on it and then it affected the biodigester in the long run and i was called to have to come and have it read done so all those things go in a long way to inform sometimes the decision that we make or we take as constructors to have the right thing done and then so that it doesn't cost you a lot because sometimes when you are called back to come and have some of this work done so you are not going to get paid for it because you did not tell the homeowner when we were doing the construction that look if i do these stuff if i do the construction at this time these are some of the replications that will come out when you decide not to use it immediately or because you also come to do other stuff there so my advice from experience 
is what I'm giving you if you're a biodigester constructor or you're somebody interested in having a biodigester constructor for your house, minimize the activities on the compound. Activities like plastering, activities like filling, activities like taking debris out of the compound. It's best to have all those things out of the compound before you construct a biodigester. It lessens the, the drama that comes later. It lessens the problems that you have when you have it done. And then because sometimes you get weak in, and then probably you don't even call the digester constructor to come and look at it again and you are using it to have an effect the long-term use of the digester will be affected in such a situation there are situations that you go the toilets are down that's the pipes that are coming out to the inlet of the digester is down and you have to ask the homeowner to have it lifted up because one either the ground is not good and you cannot do a by digester at that level you will not be able to match it to the drainage system or you will not be able to get enough depth for your so-called piece that must be done or they soak away. So there are situations that you ask the homeowner, do the tiling or do your accessories in the house, but leave the toilet seats fixing, don't fix them, and don't, don't even do tiling around the toilet seats before you come in. Depending on where you are located in Africa here, your buy the Hensler pricing is key to your business model that you decide to adopt. In some countries, or in some parts of Ghana especially, the buy the is being done for low-income houses. So the low-income houses and the low-income areas are usually being sponsored by the government, which means that the government pays about 70% of the cost of the biodigester installation and the homeowner only pays the 30%. If that's the model that you want to adapt for your services, then after learning the biodigester construction, if you are in Ghana, you go to the assembly and show them that you are an installer, you build your business, you show them your business registration, you tell them you are a biodigester installer and then you want to be put on the assembly's work. Whenever there's an assembly work that's available, you will be called to go and do inspection and follow all the necessary procedure and then the contract is given to you. The government pays the 70% and then the homeowner pays the 30%. So those biodigesters usually what happens is that the homeowner's money is what is given to you to use in your biodigester installation. And then the assembly's money or the government money which is usually disposed by the World Bank, comes at a later date. So it means that the biodigester cost for that particular project will be lower. But then there's other ways whereby you can also do it for people who are building their houses, estate houses or self-contained houses, who also need this biodigester. Because after comparing the cost of biodigester to septic tank, or comparing septic tank cost to biodigester, most people will prefer to have a biodigester done if you are able to convince them. And then you are supposed to tell them how much it will cost them. Your cost can be done in comparison to how others have also priced the S1 after you've done your research. And two, it can be costed based on how a septic tank in your locality or in the area you are living will also be. That's where you have to discuss the advantages that you bring to the table when you do a biodigester. Advantages like you are not going to dislodge again. Advantages like you do not need a big space to have a biodigester done. It means that your land, they are expensive land that you have bought. You can use some parts to do another project instead of using it to do a septic tank. You can also talk about how many days or hours that it might take you to install the biodigester for them. And then, of course, you can also talk about the quick turn around time when it comes to the installation. So all these things will go into a price your digester. Each business model and how you plan it will be determined by the pricing that you do and how convincing you sound or how the kind of job that you have done, the experience that you have built over the years will all go to determine the price of a biodigester.